hello, I'm Retro Jules, and welcome to World of Tanks, and welcome to my garage, and welcome to a brief overview of Update 3.3 Typhoon, which is coming very, very soon, and it sounds actually quite exciting. So I thought I'd just make a quick video of the bullet points and the main points for you, but if you want to see the whole list of bug fixes and tweaks and all the rest of the things they're doing then get yourself onto World of Tanks console and there's a very long list of all the bits and pieces they're doing. So firstly we're gonna get two new tanks we're gonna get two British tier 10 tanks we're gonna get the Centurion Action 10 or Action X which is replacing the FV4202 and it's a variant of the Centurion 7.1 but with a much stronger turret and we're also getting the Chieftain Mark VI, an iconic British tank, um, as a heavy tank. The replaced FV4202 is now going to become a tier 8 premium tank and don't worry because you won't lose your beloved FV4202 if you have one because if you do own it you'll be given the new Centurion X and the new premium version of the FV4202 as well. There's also a new map and a new map variant coming. Tiepval Ridge set in northern France a World War I map set during the Battle of the Somme in 1916 it's not really clear at this stage whether this is a permanently new map or it's just going to be featured for the upcoming Trench Warfare game mode with the Mark 1 tank. The map variant is the Pacific Island. It's going to get a typhoon. It's going to get a weather storm. And this beautiful island is going to get hit by this typhoon and the resulting heavy fog and rain is going to rapidly reduce the visibility of your tank. Another really great feature is multiple consumables use which is I think is an excellent upgrade. You still have your three slots for your consumables but you can double up on certain items of which include your, your repair kit small and large, your first aid kits small and large and your manual and automatic fire extinguishers now that sounds great if you double up, I'm already thinking I'm going to take a couple of uh, repair kits with me, but the trouble is, what do you leave behind? Because you've only still got your three slots, so that's going to be some interesting decision making before you go into battle. Armour and component viewer is also coming. We get new garage stat ratings, so we get rate our tanks are rated on firepower, survivability, mobility, concealment, and spotting and they're all rated from 1 to 100 so it's very easy to compare tanks with each other we also get a module viewer allowing us to see the key modules on the tank and how they are positioned within the tank the most important being the engine and the ammo rack and the crew so you, you can now explain or discover why you keep getting ammo racked in your tank or why your crew keep dying or your commander dies or you keep getting set on fire and armor viewer it's looking like it's a tanks.gg style model showing the armor thicknesses and how that thickness changes when you angle your tank so that's a really good bit of tank information and stats and figures that we're getting so it's it's gradually following the PC and we're, we're getting all those numbers and figures that we all, we all thirst for with our tanks. There are also an awful lot of bug tweaks and fixes and there's far too many to mention here uh, but a just quick overview of the, of the main ones. Abbey Map is getting a new layout. Sacred Valley War is getting updated. Prokhorovka is getting a balanced layout. Various spawning points are getting relocated to balance certain styles of games. Flanking left and right is now removed from the radial commands. Artillery's radial command also changes where they can actually, if they can't get a shot in, it'll say it's they can't get a shot or it's out of range. 
all the tanks are getting an engine and a gun audio fix, so hopefully that's going to sound pretty good. And there are, there are various map tweaks going on to stop us all getting stuck in those silly little spots that we all like to make videos of when we get stuck in a game. So this update sounds really, really good, and I just thought I'd make this video and give you a little bit of an overview of what's coming. And I don't know about you, but I can't wait.